But I am going to save after all that research. Being a zombie and everything. And, uh... Yeah, thanks for joining me. Guess we only went for an extra two hours on YouTube. We're at 1440. I would keep going, to be honest. I was thinking about, hey, if I can beat this round in less than 24 hours, then <laughs> why not go for the less than 24 hour stream? <laughs> but I haven't really been getting that much great sleep lately, so I'm in no position to keep pushing forward. I'm falling asleep in the chair. So, I just need to stop. Oh, but thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to probably take this to Da Vinci and chop it up and throw it up there. Oh. I'm supposed to play around with that today. I don't have a video coming out today. These things happen. But... Well, that's actually not entirely true. I do have a video coming out today. It's just not on my channel. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the glitch video is finally done. <clears throat> so if you're in Tears of the Kingdom, some hot new tech coming out. Well, I mean, it's not new tech. It's, it's old tech. It's just Sweetie's finally covering it so that you know, it's like, much easier to understand than most of the other people who are covering it. Like that's just that's just how it be. Oh, <sighs> anyway, we get out of here. And uh, tomorrow, I'm definitely going to be. Oh, tomorrow, today, the rest of the day, I'm taking the night off. Tonight, I'm not going to be streaming. Uh, tomorrow, uh, not sure. Sunday, not sure. I'm just not sure generally but next week the goal is to get on some kind of regular schedule so we'll be updating my uh, twitch schedule and I'll probably put out a community post on YouTube and uh, yeah uh, whatever I get up to I'll I'm not gonna be doing the same thing every day and I may even split up parts of the day, depending on, uh, mostly if I can get Suishi into a schedule for doing Stardew. And, uh, whatever, whatever other projects he wants to work on. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, I'm going to get going and sleep. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. And, uh, I'll be back with Factory at some point. I want to finish this playthrough. Um, it's not the f farthest I've gotten, but I feel like it's doing much better than the last one. Cause like, where are we at? Let's, let's look, let's look at it real quick. Not continue. Wait, is it continue? Oh, there's load. All right. So. We've got the one we were just looking at. And this is the one I did before. So like you can see I've I'm trying to like really ramp up the size uh I even got the what do you call them? The inserter like the inserter belt where they just pass things off to each other so it all ends up in an easy collectible spot yeah i think that's kind of kind of cheesy like you can see it happening over here <laughs> just all gets collected at the end it's fun watching them flap around but yeah oh what's funny is is that uh I was working on robot speed. Look at that. Very similar position. I didn't even upgrade my mining productivity. Like I'm, I'm actually further ahead on the other. That's kind of funny. Although I know I got advanced fluids 
Find a setup. Yeah, they're over here. But, uh... I don't, I don't even have the modular armor yet. I don't think I've made any red ships. Uh, just the ones I'm using for the blue science, it looks like. So I'm about at the at the same spot that I was last time, and this is the last save before this uh, base got steamrolled. Ah, here they come. These guys are gonna break through. Not those guys. There's a bigger one out there somewhere. But this one's a death world, so like much more challenging. These big bastards are showing up. But yeah, this is just too much to manage. It's too big. Um, it's not even finished. Like, I've I've made just as much progress with a much smaller, uh, more efficient setup in the other base. Not to mention smelting on on uh, on location. Like, it's nice. But the reason why I separated the smelting is because the um, the speed isn't consistent by if you direct feed into them. So like, look at them, they keep turning off. They're waiting for ingredients. So what I would rather do is um, you know, carry them around like I've been doing in mine. Just big a bunch of chests full of stuff. Oh yeah, that over there. That keeps getting. I think that's where the that's where the breach happens. Cause like right, basically right now I'm gonna be getting like nonstop attacked. Yeah, and that's part of the problem. Yeah, low input fluid. There you go, it's starting now. Oh, no, it's not. No, no, no. This guy just has some crude in him and needs to switch over to the heavy oil. Yeah, I was trying to push heavy oil out, but now, if you look at it, the pipes are empty from the heavy oil because... Uh, The, the crude is still in the flamethrowers. What I needed to do is go run around and reset some of these flamethrowers. But also, it's just... I'm, I, I really misbalanced the, uh, the oil as well. Like, I'm so bad at the math for the oil. I really need to sit down with it and just figure, like, do the math on it at some point. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing in this game. Like if I had secured the other oil patch, then uh might have been a different story. But yeah, I've done other challenge runs, not just the uh, the no belts. Um, basically, every run I do is uh, something. Which I, except I think this one was just my second one, and I just wanted to do a second one. Yeah, I don't think I did anything different with this one. Well, I think this was literally I wanted to do, like, I wanted to not screw up a compact base or something. I don't remember. I forget what the, what the like, if there was an objective here beyond just winning. I don't think there was. I don't think this was a challenge. I think I just took all of what I learned my first playthrough and just went in. 
Yeah, because you can tell I went like overboard with flamethrowers, and there's flamethrowers with laser support. And then, uh, this one, I think is this the... Is this... Which one is this one? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, I started up over here. And, uh, over time... I realized that um, I ran. I was running out of copper, ran out of stone, and there was no oil. And the only oil that I found anywhere near me that was easy, that was at all consistent to get, was like way down in this area. Actually, it was this one here. Uh, that that one. So it's like I'm already all the way over here, and then I realized there was a Nice little stone thing there. Iron, copper, iron, more crude, more copper. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna move. <laughs> and so I did. And uh, yeah, it was fun. This was another one though where I was just, uh, I was just playing around. I didn't do any sort of challenge. Although I definitely scaled up much more on this one compared to the other ones. Like, I was building my base and then it occurred to me, you know, I probably could do the rocket and finish that sucker so quick once I decided to put my mind to it because, you know, I've got everything going on here. And, uh... Don't remember if there was anything special about this one besides that uh, I started with biters on my copper. That's um, the reason why I took this map because there were biters on this copper here that I had to clear out in order to uh, get to the copper. Everything else is pretty tame, but the biters on the copper was pretty wild. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the bullets only one. Bullets only, solar power focus. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Big solar panel areas. I actually use the trains as well. All of these little shits are flying out to grab shit anyway. <laughs> they have no chill. <laughs> oh, power just immediately died. That's funny. I wonder if uh, the updates have rebalanced things. And now like my, my power grid doesn't work anymore. But yeah, I had all these little outposts that essentially sectioned off my base from the other, uh... I, th I think this one was to... Because there was like... I forget why I built this here. I think it was to keep an eye on this area. I forget. But then like that section's off there. This section's off all over here. Yeah, that section's off here. And then we have the Great Desert Wall. What? Oh, it's missing a repair pack. It needs a robot. Right, 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 right. Forgot. But yeah, I had fun with this one. This one was all guns. 
are all bullets. So like, uh, I had shotgun, but I, I wanted to use the uranium rounds. So I just went all in on the guns. This is another death world, by the way. Uh, all of the first maps that I did were death worlds and most of them were successful. Like I for like second, third, fourth, the fifth one I did well. The sixth one I think I didn't finish. Yeah, no. I hadn't finished this one. I was working on this one. And, uh... Just put it down at one point. This was supposed to be where I, like... Tried to use landmines and grenades... And, uh, yeah, you can see I don't have any gun. But, I think I hit a point where I was, like, I didn't like the balance I achieved. Or didn't achieve, specifically. And just decided to stop. So this one was abandoned. Not necessarily lost, but definitely abandoned, so it was not won. Yeah, I only put 10 hours into that one. And then this was the one I actually just straight up lost. My uh I tried so hard to clear those little shits out because I needed that oil. I have a little bitch bunker over there. I what I would do is I would come out to the starting ore patch and uh I would um, set up mining equipment and then I would pack it all up and run away. And we would run all the way up here. And the best part was is I would like, I'd be stockpiling stuff and I still had this whole iron patch here. Wait. Huh. I guess you need uh, too wide to do that. But yeah, so like I built this like death tunnel. All this is manufactured, the whole island. And this is where I f first did this. I can't remember if I did this in, yeah, I did. this is when I, uh, after I did the multiplayer game when I did it, I used this here because it was like a lot, it gave me control so that I could, uh, Essentially what I did was I went out and gathered resources, brought them back, smelted them down, and then fabricated specific amounts of stuff so I could control my pollution output to a degree. If it wasn't for the fact that I was there was so much desert here and that the ocean didn't help one bit. But like if I had been if I had more of a jungle area to work with it would have worked really well. Cause I mean like, look how tiny this base is. Basically I don't even, I don't, I don't even research while I am uh, crafting. It's one or the other. I don't even turn the radar on unless I have to. Oh, and then I would, you know, run down to here after I, well, I would literally wait up in there for everything to clear out. But it just takes too long. And I never made that work. If I'd gotten that, like, it was really close, but I just died. <laughs> I don't think there was anything specific to doing this except for the retreating onto the island. I wanted to try doing that. But yeah, basically where, my, where I'm at right now in that one, I, 
might be able to recover and keep going, but the biters are really strong. Uh, is this the one? What is this? It says co-op, but I don't recognize this map. Like this just looks like oh something I would do. Why are there no walls out there? Maybe I was in the middle of making them. Oh, the walls got pushed out. Oh, this was a co-op map. Who was I playing this with? I wonder if I was doing this, with this one with Cheesecake Man. I think I was. I think this was one I was doing with Cheesecake Man. Yeah, he was still learning the game. So that's why a lot of it, like, you have stuff that looks very much like what I do. It's because I, I, I do weird shit. Like, this is me collecting all this stuff up into one spot so I can just come run over and pick it up. Oh, I think I put, I think it was like, hey guy, go make the oil, go make the, uh, take care of the oil or something. No, I must have come over with you for the advanced fluids because this is my advanced fluids set up. My blueprint's still here. No. That's a shame. I didn't have a lot of good ones, but I had some fun ones. Like I, I copied this. Yeah. Looks like we were doing well enough. Yeah, we just secured the oil and these. I think uh, the next step was I was going to have him optimize these. While I either went for the uranium or pushed more biters. I don't think it was pushed more because we basically, no, you know what it was? It was, I was going to build a much bigger base setup over here to race to the end game. That's what it was. Yeah, <laughs> a little biter island. But yeah, this was one I was doing with Cheesecake Man. I tore down the walls, but I never got around to tearing down the uh, flamethrowers because, like, I would have to replace the pipes inside of them anyway to keep the network uh, intact. Although, I could now tear them down. I don't know. I think that was probably why I left them, though. But we never finished that one. <sighs> and then, then I've just, this one, the one we're doing now.
very happy with like it's definitely non-stop work that's the the main downside <laughs> is uh you always feel like you've got to be rushing to be to be as productive as possible but i really feel like if you got somebody else into the mindset to work in a base like this that it would be really uh Like, there's not a lot of, um, like, just even one extra person would just straight up just increase productivity so much if they just ran, you know, just running resources around. That's going to be it for me. I've been up for more than oh, nearly 24 hours. I've been streaming for 15 plus. And uh, I think next time I'm going to start a clock. I've only got 12 hours on that one. I guess the, the time pausing doesn't, doesn't tick, right? So... 11 hours, 15 minutes. I'll take that. That's fine. That means I have more extra time than I thought. Because my goal is to get sub 20 hour. Like, this is my first attempt really to try to get sub 20 hour. Because my, like, if you look at my plays, my first one, I got it just over 80. My second one, I got it just under 50. And then my third one was at 45. The fourth one was at 35. So I was like, you know what? If I push myself, I might be able to get sub 20. I got 26. Main problem there was just uh, setting up the second base. I didn't really, uh, I didn't optimize it properly. Like I didn't know how to balance my stuff. Like you can see there's like belts that are just not balanced. Yeah, I know. Big whoop. Nobody cares. Rockets already launched. But yeah, this is actually a peak uh what we're going to be doing once we get the logistics spots. Just literally a whole bunch of places to just assemble stuff. <sighs> I'll still have places where I'll be manually doing it because I'll be able to do it in bulk compared to the robots, but like the smaller stuff, the more precise stuff, we're going to have the robots doing it. And that's just a matter of how many robots can we get in order. Right now there's like, there's only 769 robots in this uh, network. I'm thinking of like, Mm. Something like sixteen or thirty-two, uh, sixteen or thirty-two hundred on the one that we're currently doing. Like now that we've got the robots, we don't. I don't have requester chests though. Is the only thing. I have the red and the. Yeah, I get it. 
<laughs> Everything blowing up. All right, leave me alone. Stop the bullying. <sighs> now, if I set up the long-term storage right, Is that, like, can I trick it into being a request air chest? But really, I just need to get... Ugh. <sighs> Oh, I like the picture. I've never, I never noticed the picture before. That's kind of cool. All right, I need to I need to go to bed. Every time I look at this game, it just makes me want to do more. But yeah, this was a fun one. We had the huge belt for my iron. That's honestly where the biggest problem was. I should have just built a freaking train. But whatever. Nobody's home. Little turdlings. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about this one. Like, it definitely wasn't, like, efficient at all. I mean, it was an ultimate death world still. So I was, you know, kind of happy that I was as fast as I was. But we had struggles. Like, uh, getting to oil was brutal. I had to go to here. But they were, like, biter butt city over here. All over here. So I made a little bitch bridge. Or a little a little channel. Little uh over the lando. Uh, so that I could get to the oil there. And then I scurried my little butt out all the way down over to here. And then scurried out across. And you can see I've I've even run power lines and uh pipes out in the water so that they wouldn't get attacked by the biters and all, all the way out to here when i was able to secure more oil <laughs> it's like why fight the biters i'm just i'm just gonna invade them from the sea oh and this is one where i decided i was gonna just straight up skip any kind of other power other than the boilers. Like, this is after I'd watched a speed run, and I was like, why am I building solar panels and nuclear power when I could literally just survive on boilers? Yeah, this one lagged really hard, or lagged, but dragged when I just tried to expand to the bigger base. And a lot of that had to do with the fact that the iron was all the way down here and I just refused to build a train. Hmm. 
Oh, that I wasted like a lot of time upgrading stuff that I didn't need to upgrade too. It was still fun. And I did win. Just I didn't get sub two hour or 20 hour. I mean, <laughs> this one though, it's on the right track, but it's not a death world. So I don't really feel special about it. <laughs> and the next one I'll have to do will be a death world again. All right, now I really do need to go. I keep saying that, but there we go. We closed the game. <laughs> I think I said it already. Thanks for joining me. And uh, if you want to, I think some of my old Factorio stuff is still on YouTube. Uh, Get the Zelda Warframe. Oh, I guess not. Oh, rip. Oh, man. I could have swore I did. Maybe they uploaded some videos then. Right? Because uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Purging the Lands of Fire. <laughs> Now, this isn't the whole attempt. This is just the... I'm a small time. Yeah, this is just me actually purging the lands. This one. Yeah. I, I highlighted the part where I actually purged the island of, uh, of the biters. Because I, I had to, I, I'm still going to go back to that and finish it or try again, but it's like a really nice ultimate death world because it's got like this central island that if you can just get to the oil, you can push everything out. I think that's the only Factorio I actually have on my YouTube. I need to get more on there. Because then, then I got into Zelda when Zelda popped up and did that quite a bit. And then I got back into Star Sector for quite a bit and now I'm messing around with Quasimorph but uh also Factorio Quasimorph's fantastic but I should go I should stop rambling otherwise I'm going to be here for like another 30 minutes <laughs> anyway um I don't think I know anyone at this time of the day to raid. E oh. It's a mega base, dude. What else we got? Okay, so this is something that I've learned that I see that um, I'm starting to see people do and now it's like a pet peeve of mine. Hold on, let me, uh, let me drag this camera down. Something I've noticed is uh, when people put the name of the game in the title as if I don't know what category I'm searching. Like everywhere you look on Twitch, it shows the category. It shows like in your follower bar, it shows the category before it shows the name. You have to highlight the person to see the name. Like I know you're playing Factorio.
like, all right, I, I, I really, I really should just, I, I should just stop the stream because I'm going to start roasting some of these people. Because I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what's going on in some of these streams. It's because like, I don't, I don't like rating someone who's doing modded stuff unless I know what the mods are. Or, oh, hey. Hey, Mike is on. Oh, heck yeah, we could raid Mike. I love him. He makes the good videos. Yeah, let's go. Let's go see what Mike's up to. Mike Hendy's up there. He's streaming. Let's go visit Mike Hendy. He's literally the reason I got this game. Oh, he's not. What? Did he like just stop? <laughs> Why did it say he was he was streaming? I'm confused. It says he's live, but I click on the channel and <laughs> blame my boy. Also, I fucking have to mute it more than once. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? It says he's live, but he's not. Oh, he literally just stopped. Oh, the timing. Rip, rip around me. All right, well. Let's go visit. I don't remember Colonel Will, but I have them followed. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna trust and pass sideways. He wouldn't lead us astray. So let's go visit Colonel Will. And uh, I'll be back sometime over the weekend. Probably not later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, unless somebody says they want to play Stardew. <laughs> but I'll try and get back on Factorio sometime over the weekend because I want to finish this playthrough. And the next stream, I will probably finish this playthrough. Like, with where we're at now... Like, it's it's... It might take eight more hours. I'm pretty sure I'm getting under 20 hours for this one. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Let's go visit, uh, let's go visit the Colonel. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all around. Oh, this is awkward. I turned that bad. Now I'm just here while we wait for the raid. Ugh. It'd be a great time for my camera to freeze. Oh, button. See you guys.